Falcons with Battle Melbourne at Victoria Park. It's do or die at the MCG as both sides desperately need a win to keep their finals hopes alive. And the Magpies will be hoping to hold off a resurgent Melbourne to retain top place on the ladder. All the top footy action coming your way on... Shane Watson replaced Craig Starcevich in the selected side and we begin tonight with highlights of the first half. Melbourne fired up out here at Victoria Park. Certainly an important game for Collingwood. At present they're on top of the ladder. But the competition is pretty fierce. Glenn Lovett, shot for goal. First goal to Melbourne. Gafer in trouble. Good tackle, Gary Lyon. Chance here for Glenn Lovett, who's had quite a few touches. That's his fourth kick in towards full forward. Kick for goal was by Obst. And it's a goal. Lovell's kick up towards centre-half forward. Nearly a mark to Richardson. Obst to Jakovic. Another goal to Melbourne. Great start. Francis, who's been quiet, tagged by Biney. Here's a chance for Williams. Gives away ground. Russell fumbles. Hand pass, not bad. Rocker. He's too slow, but he's going to get his kick away. It's into the square. It'll bounce through for Collingwood. Goal. Hand passes away to Keo. Keo loves to run straight at the football. There's a good mark taken by Glenn Lovett. Coming up for kick number six. In towards half forward. Sean Charles. A little tap for Obst. Obst done selfishly, away to Brett Lovett, and goal number four to Melbourne, fantastic football. He goes direct, Bennett and Pert, and bounces favourably for Gary Pert, he's having a very good first quarter for Collingwood, a high kick, out of side of the ground, Brett Lovett can't take that mark, Scotty Russell recovers very well, and could set something up here for the Pies, one bounce, has a second bounce, and from 45 metres, set sail, and has kicked Collingwood's second goal. In turn to McGuan. McGuan's kick is magnificent. That was meant. Turner, McCartney, through the centre. The pass. Oh, it was a grass cutter. Matthew Marnie. Scott Russell chops it off. Scott Russell kicks a goal. End pass just a little short. Morewood made it better. Russell runs lovely. Scott Russell. Little kick, fantastic. Dave Russell kick a goal. Beautiful football by Collingwood. Premiership stuff. He moves on quickly. Sullivan. Oh, good courage there shown by Stephen Stretch going back with the fight of the ball. Lovell cleans up into the centre of the ground. Big Jimmy Steins. And looking for Jakovic out on the lead again. He's given Gary Pert a few problems in this second quarter when he has been leading. Mark oh, Jakovic, Bernie, when he takes the mark, turns his back on the play and therefore doesn't realise where the man on the mark really is. Exactly. Jakovic from 52 metres. Long and high. And I think he's kicked it. Yes. So at half time, it was Melbourne by a point, a surprise out of Victoria Park. We rejoined the game in the third quarter with eight minutes remaining, and Collingwood now lead by 20 points. Kicks his second behind. 11 15 to 9 7. And Collingwood close to forming the score for which they kicked against Essendon about nine days ago. Schwartz runs away from half back. Kick in towards the centre. It goes straight through Obst. Sullivan near the centre circle. Kicks Melbourne over half forward. Matthew Marnie marks. Looks to get the hand pass away, but plays on quickly. The pass. Jakovic can't mark. Recovery is good. Can he get his kick away? He does. And he has kicked the goal. Well done, Alan Jakovic. He gives the Collingwood players the thumbs up sign. And he's registered Melbourne's 10th goal, but the Demons still trail by 14 points. Well, not a bad performance, I suppose, statistically by uh, Jakovic. He's kicked uh, five goals, three, and some pretty easy chances in that second quarter to convert. Really did miss some sitters in that second quarter, but five goals and had Gary Pert move from him. The bounce down. Monkhurst has done a pretty good job in the ruck today for Collingwood. Tony Shaw appealing for the free kick, not awarded. Tony Francis burrowing in as he always does. That's Andy Lovell getting the hand pass away to Marnie. Sean Charles trying to get a kick away. And eventually Tony Francis with the hurried kick finds Monkhurst in the centre of the ground. He plays on quickly and Williams making good position. Takes that chest mark about 60 metres out from the Collingwood goal. And the short pass, Moore, has been in everything this quarter. Getting away from Matthew Phoebe. Maybe just a little bit too far out. Maybe <laughs> kicking from about 50, 52 metres. He looks as if he fancies his chances. 
the wind probably favoring the end to which he's kicking although the windsock really uh, pointing to the outer side of the ground as he comes in 50 meters from goal it's a good kick off the boot but oh terrific mark schwartz up very high and early promising young player for melbourne david schwartz yes He's played uh, every game for the Demons in 1992, along with Jimmy Steins, the only other player to do so. As Morwood comes out and takes another mark across half forward, Russell's on if he wants to square the ball, but no. He's taking a long time, Shane Morwood, going back. No one leading. Nothing happening. He's too far out to, to kick a goal from there. He's really waiting for a lead to come from the forwards. Rocker now starting to make a move. And look at uh, Monkhurst, he's back there by himself. He unloads with a big torpedo, a terrific kick from Morwood. Another goal to the Magpies. Two goals to Shane Morwood. Uh, Collingwood 12-15-87, a 20-point advantage over Melbourne. 10-7-67. I think if Shane Morwood ever backed a 100-1 winner, the expression on his face still wouldn't change. <laughs> he just looks so relaxed. And that kick was a magnificent torpedo puncture. Yeah, the move's been made there, Robbo. Stretches now onto Morwood. And not before time. I don't doubt Matthew Phoebe's determination, but uh, a very difficult job to contain the half forward, Collingwood half forward. Here's some risky business going on for Collingwood in their last line of defence, and it results in the pressure on those defenders kicking the ball back, and Matthew Marnie is marked about 50 metres from goal. Now he can kick the football, Matthew Marnie. So I'd give him some chance of scoring from here. Kicks the drop punt close to the line. I think it's hit the post. It has. So another behind a Melbourne. Kicked by Matthew Marnie. 10-8 plays, 12-15. Five minutes left in the third quarter. Leading goal scorers, Alan Jakovic has kicked five for Melbourne. Rocker has kicked five for Collingwood. And Scott Russell has kicked three for the Magpies. Gary Pert decides on the far side of the ground. Williams underneath it. Ball to the back. Steins. Good shepherd by Matthew Phoebe. Steins to Obst. Back to the big fellow. Awkward for him, though. Under pressure. Keo. He's going to lose his pants. Obst. He's going to lose the ball. Yes, yeah, an ordinary hand pass out there. A couple of ordinary hand passes from Melbourne have really, has really let them down in this uh, game, Robbo. Another good performance by Richardson, who tackled Keo, And his kick, taken by Monkhorst. Player on his own here, Manson. She's got an acre. Kick up to the 50-metre line. Pretty ordinary. Brad Rowe recovers. Bumbled off the football. Went in after it again. Williams, kick off the ground, stretch. Manson trying, gets his foot to the ball, up towards Dacos. Goes over in front of Dacos and Peter Road for a boundary throw in about 15, maybe 25 metres around from the Collingwood goal. Magpies lead 87 to 68. Boundary throw in. James Manson doing the ruck work for the Magpies. Over the top is Andy Goodwin, but only as far as Tony Shaw, and I think he may have threaded it through. He has. Great goal from the Melbourne skipper. Oh, Collingwood 13, 15, 93. And they stretch that lead out even further now. Melbourne 10, 8, 68. Magnificent stuff by the Collingwood captain there on his wrong foot. A natural left footer, of course. And he got on under his right boot very quickly, Tony Shaw. He's in the hands of the trainers uh, earlier in this quarter, and it looked as if he may have been taken from the ground, but he's recovered okay. And a real captain's goal there for Collingwood. Well, he's a hard nut, that Tony Shaw. And he kicked a magnificent goal then. Taken away by Pert. Kicks it out towards the wing where Williams is marked. He's starting to come into the play. 17 possessions for Paul Williams. Doesn't get past Ops. Well done, Andrew Ops. Sets it up for Keo. Handball Sullivan. Keep going further ahead to Charles. He does. Charles kick into the centre, maybe broken down by Francis. A little bit of pressure was good. Steins, no. Shaw, tap on. Russell, little tap by Pert. Handball Francis. Awkward one. And Viney. Well, 
I don't think Mark Fraser was going to go too far. Todd Viney effecting a very good tackle on the Collingwood player. 13 15 93, the Magpies. 10 8 68, Melbourne. Two and three quarter minutes left in the term. Chance for Richardson. He marks and plays on quickly. Kicks it into the pocket. And Watson takes a good mark in front of Brett Lovett. Watson, who played quite a few games for Collingwood earlier on in the season, but, uh, found it a little bit difficult to hold his place. And now back in the Collingwood lineup close to finals time. He'll be wanting to impress. His kick has been marked by Manson. And the umpire, gee, you make it hard for Jimmy Manson. He's not the best kick at any time, but uh, he's put him right on the boundary line nearly up against the fence and he's got to kick the ball 50 metres you can write your own ticket about this one Robbo I'll have three bob on it okay Manson's kick oh Schwartz a good mark Gee, it wasn't a bad kick from Manson though was it he a loves terrific kicking goals kick. Jimmy Manson Schwartz will defend for Melbourne I mean, a big quarter by Collingwood seven goals four Melbourne has kicked three goals two they are almost in trouble Jimmy Steins playing more as a ruck rover today Andy Lovell he's tackled very quickly by Watson Glenn Lovett they're in all sorts of trouble too terrific stuff Watson put his body in over the ball Lovell your court again great defensive work by the Magpies and this could be tied up Jamie Turner Andy Lovell nothing much happening here the umpire surely must bounce this I'll tell you what there's one thing there if you just watch that passage of play there's no place for faint hearts. There was some good, fierce tackling. Every player having a fair dick and go at the football. Yeah, no doubt about that, Robbo. Collingwood players really tied that up. Worked hard to keep the ball in the, the forward zone. Up they go again. Jimmy Steins gets the tap down. Taken away this time by Keogh. He's looking for Jakovic on the lead. Good lead by Jakovic. Very good kick from uh, Rod Keogh. And Jakovic, well, he's been a pretty damaging player for Melbourne on that forward line. He had Gary Pert moved off him after uh, half time. Jakovic has kicked five goals, three. He's kicked from about 40 metres out directly in front. Good looking kick from Jakovic, and it's another goal, the sixth goal to the Melbourne full forward. Uh, Collingwood 13 15 93. They hold a 19-point advantage over Melbourne, 11 8 74. Jakovic has led pretty well. He was holding back in that first half against Gary Pert when he decided to start leading. He got his game into uh, focus, and away he went. Six goals, three has been a pretty good performance up against Michael Gafer in this third quarter. And 26 seconds remaining on the clock. Well, only 12 kicks to Jakovic, but six goals, three has been a very good afternoon's work. Close to three-quarter time. Collingwood lead by 19 points. One wonders whether they need a bigger lead. Brett Lovett kicks it back towards half forward. No mark taken. A free kick has been picked out of it. It's going to Obst. And Melbourne looking for the advantage, but it's not going to be paid. Umpire Russo indicating that the ball has to go back to Andrew Obst. There's time on court here, Robbo. So 12 seconds remaining on the clock. Obst really looking for a mark in this Melbourne forward line. Bit of a dust up just off the football there between uh, Chris Sullivan and Paul Williams, two of the youngsters. Ops kick into the pocket. Oh, that's a yep. kick, sure. Yeah, no doubt. Jakovic. Well, a free kick will do. So he needed a mark or a free kick. The latter is forthcoming. Jakovic well held there by Michael Gator. An obvious free kick as the umpire. And that dust up back near the centre between Sullivan and Williams has resulted in about 10 players now in a wrestling and pushing and shoving match. Well, pretty untidy sort of stuff this, but uh, nothing really happening. Well, this will be the last kick of the quarter. Jakovic, who's kicked six goals three. There's the siren. So Collingwood's score will remain at 13-15-93. We just await the result of this Jakovic shot for goal. And he's put it through for Melbourne's 12th goal. So. At three-quarter time, Collingwood lead 13-15-93, Melbourne 12-8-80. Points, but stand by for a cross to at any moment to Lake Banyola.
for the final of the double skulls. Oh, but he's kicked one goal one. And it's just 11 points the difference. This kick is better. And it is marked this time by Darren Saunders. Yes, well, that's better from Gary Pert. Chancing his arm a second time. He transfers play to the member side of the ground. Gaither can't take the mark. Good pressure there by Andy Lovell. Getting back, applying that pressure. Jamie Turner gets a hand pass away. Williams, he's got some pace. Sullivan doing well. Williams couldn't control the ball. Just a little bit of a fumble there. Turner again cleaning up. Watson can get the hand pass on to Williams. Good backing up from Paul Williams there. Centres the ball into that forward line, but only as far as Yates. Away go the Demons. Big Jimmy Steins. Steins' kick is excellent. Glenn Lovett will mark. Tony Francis a little late on the scene. Glenn Lovett the chance to put Melbourne within scoring distance. Into the pocket. Nearly a mark. It's not paid. Play on since the umpire now as Andy Lovell. Collingwood get clear. Tony Shaw. His kick goes out towards a vacant wing area. Close to the boundary line. It's picked off by Rode. Short kick is OK. Keogh plays on quickly. Handballs to Matthew Phoebe. The urgency by the Demons has increased. Phoebe's kick to the goal front. Punched away magnificently by Marcos. Gaifer goes away to Turner. And Collingwood out of trouble. Turner's kick is very good. And finds Williams at right half back. Short pass. Tony Shaw in trouble. Brett Lovett sidesteps Watson and then kicks it into the pocket and Steins marks. Melbourne not giving up without a fight. The Demons came here with a mission. Steins has the football in the left forward pocket. Melbourne trail by just 11 points. This kick could make it just one kick the difference. Jimmy Steins yet to kick a goal. Jimmy Steins still to kick a goal. But he's played a magnificent game for his side, Steins. 21 kicks, 9 hand passes and 11 marks as Pert goes to the far side. There's 10 points of margin. Great mark there by Glenn Lovett. Mark Fraser, the player, he took that mark over and there's a pass finding Jakovic. And Matthew Marnie just getting in the way of Gary Pert. He disguised that Shepherd very well. So Jakovic, who's already kicked seven goals, three. Coming in this to make it number eight for the Melbourne full forward. Pretty good off the boot. The umpire having a close look at this one. What's he done with it? No, just missed to the right. So seven goals, four to Alan Jakovic. And the margin now nine points. Gary Pert brings this ball back into play, favouring the outer side of the ground. Monkhurst gets a hand to the ball. Tony Shaw. Quick hand pass away to the very pacey Fraser on the left boot. They've got the ball into the attack very quickly here. Collingwood from defence. That kick out from Gary Pert, and all of a sudden, that's 55 metres around from the Collingwood goal. Good effort by stretch there. Road has the free kick. It went out of bounds on the full off the Collingwood player. May have been Brad Rowe or Shane Morwood. And Road has the free kick at right half back for Melbourne. Short pass is effective. The mark has been taken by Keogh. Keogh, 16 possessions in the midfield for Melbourne. His kick goes in towards the centre of the ground. Monkhorst high above the pack, tries to crash it forward for his team. Still striving hard, even though he's prostrate. Damien Monkhorst. Good stats there, Robbo. 12 marks, 14 kicks, and 12 hand passes to Damien Monkhorst. Francis takes it away. Up towards half forward. Shane Morwood can't take the mark. It's been paid. But maybe a free kick a little too high. And Morwood, Collingwood, maybe a little fortunate. They've had 31 free kicks to 20. And they lead on the scoreboard by a very slender margin. Just nine points. McCartney's kick. Nearly lands in the square. No mark taken. Where are the crummers? Brad Rowe! Brad Rowe goes! No, he doesn't. Excitement here at Victoria Park. Ten points. The advantage for Collingwood. 14, 16, 13, 12. And Gary Lyon kicking in for Melbourne. He's now playing at full back, it seems, Gary uh, Lyon. And Jimmy Steins may be playing at centre-half forward on Michael Gaifer. At half-back here for the Demons. Free kick has been awarded to Brad Rowe about 60 metres around from goal in front of 
the Collingwood Social Club. He centers the ball. Look at that forward line looking for Manson, thumped away by the Melbourne defenders. Glenn Lovett. Away he goes, one bounce. Out of defense, a long clearing kick, but only as far as Gafer. It lands in front of him, Charles, a very pacey Sean Charles. Away he goes. Across his body into that forward line, Gary Pert away in front of Jakovic. Come on, Jakovic, get out there and get with Gary Pert because he's clearing that ball far too easily. Keo can't take that mark, should have taken it in the end. And Morewood able to tie that up. Tony Francis. Gee, he's got some pace, Tony Francis. And some skill to go with it. Two bounces. Onto his left boot, into the forward line. Manson in front. Marnie over the top. Dacos. What can Dacos do? He can't kick this one. Into the goal face. And Watson. Almost. Away go the Demons. This is Graham Yates clearing in front of the Collingwood Social Club. Yates' has kick. And it was all right, too. Sullivan marks on centre wing in front of Williams. No one really to kick to, but Sullivan now plays on. Bombs away towards centre-half forward. Schwartz in front. Oh, he nearly got it at the second grab. Tony Shaw, Gafer, Saunders. Back near the centre of the ground. High was Marnie. Glenn Lovett nearly took it with him. Now he will this time. Hand pass away. Out wide to the wing now. Steins. His kick is high. In towards half forward. Oh, an excellent effort there by Lovell. It's been paid. And Andy Lovell is 55 to 60 metres from goal. He's got no one to kick it to. Jakovic is back there on his own. Now the pass. Too high for Jakovic. And away goes Richardson. Richardson's kick is excellent. And he finds Williams at right half back. They need some more numbers down in that forward line, the Demons, because Jakovic the only player there against four Collingwood defenders. Goodwin trying to mark it one-handed. Oh, a free top. kick. Absolutely. A holding decision there. Both players doing the same thing. Fair enough, Robbo. Manson gets a free kick anyway. Water by umpire Russo. Thumped away. Here's Brad Rowe. A very pacey Collingwood forward pocket rover. Watson. The late inclusion into this Collingwood side for Stasevich. And Tony Francis. Great smother there by the Demons. This is Matthew Phoebe. Stephen Stretch now playing at half-back. Manson, Andy Lovell. Away he goes on the left boot. And the quick pass finding Jimmy Steins just inside the boundary line. Fine diving mark by Jimmy Steins in front of Michael Gafer. What an effort. 199 centimetres, Jay Steins. And did it like a rover. Steins has kicked. And it's marked by Jakovic. Melbourne, no spent force. Clawing away. Jakovic with seven goals to his credit. 13 12 plays 14 16 five and three quarter minutes left Jakovic the chance to make the difference just four points his kick is offline if only Alan Jakovic had kicked straight seven five Melbourne trail by nine points well, especially in that third quarter Robbo he had plenty of opportunities from around about that 30 metre mark and he missed three in a row Gary Pert kicks into the far side he's kicked quite magnificently this afternoon Montcourse can't take the mark Marnie, oh that was a bit severe Tony but the umpire elects to bounce the ball out there at right half forward for Melbourne not much time left the blue coat boys surrounding the boundary line so the final siren not very far away, can Melbourne make up that nine point margin Monkhorst, chance for Todd Viney. Hand pass, it's all right, into the path of Sean White. His kick, Lovell will take a mark. He's only 20 metres out, Andy Lovell. And pretty well straight in front. This will make the difference just three points. Lovell, only a couple of steps, but he makes no mistake, it's a Melbourne goal. Andy Lovell's first goal, and the difference is just three points. Yes, with just four and a quarter minutes remaining on the clock, it's anyone's game now. It's been nip and tuck all day. Melbourne coming back. Uh, 14 points down at three quarters time. They led by one point at half time and ten points at quarter time. Can they get up? Jim Steins doing the ruck work against Monkhurst. Bounce down by umpire Russo. Very important to centre break. 
They both jump early. Monkwell is getting the second effort out. Pumped away by Melbourne. Lovell, the player who kicked the last goal for Melbourne. Hand pass away. This is Matthew Phoebe. He's tackled very quickly by Scotty Russell. Pretty untidy play here. Tony Shaw, tremendous courage putting his body in. Sean White at the end of that hand pass on the left boot. He gets a kick away and he's put it through. Melbourne in front. Force gets the tap out, but it doesn't really go to Collingwood's advantage. Sean White bashes it up to half forward. Melbourne player underneath all that was Matthew Phoebe. And boys, the umpire will have to bounce to start play once again. Well, the last time they played here, Robbo, was in 1987 when these two sides met. And on that occasion, Melbourne was victorious by 55 points. Well, the game's still far from over. Oh, there's a great effort by Rowe, not paid. Shane Moore at interception. Rowe, give it off, son. No, he's going to try and cover himself in glory. He's kicked to the goal line. No mark taken. Dacos has got to perform something here. He has! Dacos has kicked the miracle goal! No, it's a free kick, is it? What's happened? I'm not sure what's going on, Robbo. Is it touched off the boot or not? The goal umpire's given a decision then, has he? The goal umpire's done nothing. Yes, away the flag. It must have been a free kick. May have been a holding free kick against Rocker on Gary Lyon. That's the only thing it could have been. Well, no score registered. Williams, Glenn Lovett, dragged to the ground. Umpire Russo says throw it in. Two minutes 50 left. Melbourne lead by three points. The ball in Collingwood's forward pocket. Monkhurst and Steins. Anyone's game still. Collingwood in attack. They need to make something out of this. Kicked off the ground by Viney. Sean White. Quick hand pass to Sullivan. Now playing on the wing. And this could be forced over the boundary line. McCartney keeps it in, but the boundary umpire. Oh, the crowd not too happy with that decision. I doubtful, thought, in fact, he kept it in doubtful, too. Very doubtful. Well, line ball decision. The boundary umpire in pretty good position. Under two and a half minutes remaining on the clock. The boundary throw in. Monkhorst and Steins have battled hard against each other all day. Taken by the Magpie skipper Tony Shaw. Morewood up against Stretch. Thumped away by the, Mac, uh, the Melbourne defenders. This is Brett Lovett. If he can get this and sit up for him, they're away. Glenn Lovett. Hand passes to Andrew Obst. Away go the Demon. Schwartz. He can get the hand pass back to Obst. Oh, Lovett. Messing around a bit at the moment, the Demons. Still, they hold the three-point advantage. Into that forward line. Jakovic has the ball. Thumped away by Gary Pert. Jimmy Steins maybe could have taken possession of that. A good tap on there for Watson finds Gary Pert, and he could drive the Magpies right into attack. Very ordinary kick. He got under it a little. Up towards full forward. A great mark taken by Yates. Collingwood had the chance there. Pert's kick was probably could have done a little better, maybe. He's a tired man watching him run back towards full back. Yates has the football with a minute and a half left. Melbourne lead by three points. He's in no a hurry fantastic performance by the Demons. They fought and clawed their way into this game. Monkhorst a big punch. Taken away by Viney to no one in particular. Tony Shaw strength. He just went straight at the football. Lovell in there to hold it in for Melbourne. And still the Demons hang on. Well, Robbo, John Northey said that the, the uh, Demons would shape the final six. And, uh, well, he's been... Uh, Shown to be right on that, that statement today. Great smother by Turner and Obst. Free kick going to Collingwood. Under a minute left. They've got to make something of this. Scotty Russell. Into the half forward area. Manson marks. Move it quickly, jumping James. You've got to kick it inside 50. He does. They need a mark here. It's a Melbourne mark taken by Schwartz. Yes, and that certainly be will be the end of the Magpies. Nearly half a minute now. And Schwartz wasting precious seconds. No, time on has been called. There's a terrific performance by the Demons to get up here. 36 seconds remaining on the clock. The Demons in possession of the ball from half back through Schwartz. He favours, oh, well, look at this. Away runs from Rocker. Poor defensive, defending of the mark there. He gets a hand pass away to Peter Road. Tumbles a kick into the forward line. A pretty ordinary kick there in the end from Road. Taken by Watson. Not much time left for Collingwood to get out of this. Play on call, love it. Andy Lovell, 45 metres on the left boot. And he has kicked the sealer for the Demons. It's all over here at Victoria Park. 
Melbourne in front now by nine points with one second remaining on the clock. So Collingwood, they won't lose top spot to Geelong because Geelong has the bye today. But Footscray were, was well on top of North Melbourne at three-quarter time. So they could lose top spot today to the Bulldogs. One second remaining. Umpire Russo going through the formalities of bouncing the ball before the siren blows. And there it is. A great victory to the Demons here at Victoria Park. Melbourne 16 goals 13, 109 has defeated Collingwood 14 goals 16, 100. Today's game is part of the Carlton and United Breweries 1992 AFL Premiership season. Well, always great battles between the traditional rivals Collingwood and Melbourne. This time it was Melbourne victors by nine points, 16, 13, 109 defeated Collingwood. 14, 16, 100. Goal kickers for Melbourne, Alan Jakovic with seven. Fairly inaccurate kicking, however. For Collingwood, Rocker got five and Russell got three. We'll go to a break.